Hi, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at the new release from Hot Wheels. It's the Street Tuner series. This is part of Car Culture and it's also part of the Hot Wheels Premium line. So this consists of five different vehicles. The Nissan Silvia S15, the 95 Mazda RX-7, the 96 Nissan 180SX Type X, the Honda S2000, and the Pandem Subaru BRZ. And the BRZ, I believe, is a new casting um, for 2019. And then I also included in this video uh, the Gumball 3000 Subaru Impreza WRX. Uh, it's part of the Hot Wheels Premium release. It came with uh, some other vehicles. Uh, I believe the Spectre 007 car, uh, the Bone Shaker uh, Premium car, and then uh, I believe the Toy Story truck as well. So. I figured I should include the Gumball uh, WRX with this Street Tuner series because it kind of fits that theme. So we'll go ahead and open these up and uh, take a closer look at each one. Okay, first is the Sylvia S15. It's kind of a pearlescent white paint, has detailed headlights, as well as six spoke black wheels with rear rider tires. Also has a black rear spoiler and some detailed taillights. Now this model came out previously in the Fast and the Furious series. Let me get it out here. This was kind of the, not the original Fast, but the other set they had had. Um, so there's the S15 from the Tokyo Drift movie. You can see it here now compared to it. It had a chrome wheel in the, instead of the black, um, and then the orange and blue paint scheme. But outside of that, it's a very similar vehicle. Okay, we'll go ahead and look at the next vehicle now. Okay, this is car two in the series. It's the 95 Mazda RX-7. Um, it's kind of a bright yellow paint. Uh, you can see it's very highly detailed in the rear taillights there. Um, also has the lower lights on the back bumper. And has silver real rider wheels as well. Um, they have multi-spokes on them. Um, you can see the front lights below the headlights there in the front bumper. So pretty highly detailed model here. Uh, this isn't the first release of this either. Um, it was in the original Fast series for Dominic's RX-7. Go ahead and pull that up now. So now you can see both cars together. Uh, very similar. I do see that the Fast, the original Fast RX-7 has a little more detailed headlights. Um, they have kind of a clear projection headlight instead of the flip up headlights in place on that vehicle. Um, that's obviously an aftermarket addition, but um, does make a difference between the two castings. I think that's just a cosmetic change though. It's not actually the casting that's different, but it um, has a little more detail there on the headlights. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the next vehicle now. Okay, this is vehicle three in the series. Uh, you can see it's in a gloss black. It's the 96 Nissan 180SX Type X and has highly detailed rear taillights there. You can see the exhaust tip is painted silver. Um, it does have the gold five spoke wheels on the rear rider tires. See the Nissan logo there in the front bumper. So overall a good looking casting. And this casting is a 2015 release, so it's not a new casting, but I don't believe there's been very many releases with this casting that I'm aware of at least in the premium lines. There may have been some mainline released, um, but not in this premium level that I'm aware of. But I could be wrong, there may be some out there. Okay, this is release number four in the series. It's a Honda S2000. This is a 2010 casting, so it's been out for a few years. See it's highly detailed in the taillights. Uh, it does have the high spoiler in the back. And this features the kind of flower spoked real rider wheels on it. Um, I don't really prefer those. They don't have any gap in the spokes. It's just one kind of solid piece. Uh, but that, having that many spokes, I'm sure it's difficult at that scale to make them more detailed. Um, and then this, of course, is the hard top version. There's also a convertible version of this casting in the main line, at least. Um, I know Suki's pink S2000, it was a convertible, so that's been released before. 
Um, and you can also see there's a scoop on the roof there. So we'll go ahead and move on and take a look at the next one. Okay, now we're looking at the Pandem Subaru BRZ. And this is a new release, I believe. It's a 2018 casting and has the six spoke black wheels on it. See the splitter in the front below the bumper. Uh, the headlights are highly detailed. It's in kind of a metallic blue color. Um, you will notice maybe that the rear spoiler is a little bit bent. Uh, this is a similar issue that the Porsche in the, I think it was the Circuit Legend series um, that was released not too long ago. It had a big, it was this Mazda casting, and it had a big spoiler on the back that got kind of bent in the package as well. Um, it's made out of plastic. So you can see this one's a little bit bent. Um, I tried bending it a little bit after I opened it, and it did seem to bend back in place some, so um, I'm sure you could kind of mess with it and get it back in place, but that's just something to be aware of when you're looking at these castings in the store that that spoiler may have issues. Um, so you may want to try to find a more straight one if you can, but I think it's going to be a pretty common problem just trying to fit in the blister. It just kind of gets bent up against the edge. So other than that, it's a very nice casting. Um, very wide car. Um, it's got a wide stance compared to some of these others in the series. Uh, but it looks very nice. And that's the final one in this set. Now, as I said, we're going to look at the Subaru WRX as well, which is another Subaru, so I think that's appropriate. So now we have the Subaru Impreza WRX, uh, number 99. This is the Gumball Rally paint scheme on it. And it's in a gloss black with gold wheels, which is appropriate for a Subaru. Um, I think this is a very good looking casting. Black may not be the best color for it to show off the uh, detail in it. You know, blue, typical Subaru blue or something like that might have been better, but it still looks very nice. Um, I think it's appropriate for this Street Tuner series. It definitely could have fit into that whole set itself um, instead of the BRZ or one of the others, but they had a good lineup of castings in there, so maybe it'll make a future release. Okay, well this uh, release should start hitting your stores locally here soon. I found mine in the Target. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and like if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and have a great day.